Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, this is Greg with Threshold Media Productions. Um, this is a, a tutorial on um, using hype for iWeb. Now, uh, if you're looking at this tutorial, um, I'm, I'm assuming that you pretty much know what hype is. Um, there's been a lot of question whether or not hype is compatible with iWeb. Well, hopefully this tutorial will you know kind of help solve that. So uh, let's get started. Here we are on the FTP file manager. Here's where all the files are uploaded from iWeb onto your GoDaddy server. Um, first thing you want to be sure of is that you're logged in to your server um, under the site publish settings. If you click on um, this little link right here above your entire website build, um, you want to make sure it says publish to FTP server. Uh, mobile me I don't have an account with mobile me so I'm not sure how this would work uh, so this tutorial is mainly focused on FTP server all right um, and put your site name um, contact email if you wish um, I don't um, and then here you want to input your server address your, your username sorry and your password um, I've never really had to put any information in the directory path section um, and keep the protocol FTP and keep the port default and test your connection. Uh, once your test connection is complete and that you are logged on to your server, um, we'll go to the next step. Okay guys, this is our site, um, Threshold Media Productions, uh, thresholdmp.com. Um, what I want is I want to be able to put an animation on our front page for people to see when they go to our website. Um, so in order to do that, um, I've gone ahead and pre loaded um, the file that we created um, for our intro page. I'll play it for you. It's about six seconds. <clears throat> Alright, we'll go ahead and preview that just to kind of see what it looks like online. Awesome. Alright. Well, that's our animation. Okay. So now we'll head over to iWeb, and um, I've gone ahead and pre-set up a page that we are going to put that animation on, which will be the front page, okay? So now what we want to do is we want to publish this pretty much to an HTML folder, okay? So to do that, we'll go up to File, Export to Folder, okay? And this is the compatibility summary, which pretty much tells you... Um, what browsers are going to be compatible with the animation or whatever project that you created in Hype. Okay? Um, so we'll go ahead and hit, hit export. And the file that I created is already set up, which is the file here. So when you save the file and ask for it to create inclusion folder, it's going to create a folder with, with the documents that you need, which um, there'll be an HTML and then there'll be a resources folder. Okay? I've already gone ahead and created this, so we're going to move on to the next step. All right, guys, now that we've gone ahead and created our um, hype files, um, what we want to do is take these files and utilize them. <laughs> All right, so here we'll go back to iWeb, okay? 
and we have our blank area in which we want to put the animated document. Okay, so if we were to go to our website right now, this is what you see. Nothing but the enter button. Okay, so we're going to try to input our graphic here by using the HTML code in the resources folder that we created. Okay, so what we want to do is first off take this HTML file, right click on it, and open it with a text document so that you can read the HTML code embedded within the file. Okay, um, I'm going to use dash code 3.0.2 just because that's what I like to use. You can use whatever works for you. And there's this code of, of well, this line of code that you want to use in iWeb. Okay, so we're going to highlight this code. Okay, we're going to copy it. I know the shortcut, but just so you can view it, uh, we're going to copy it. Okay, and then we're going to head over to iWeb. Okay. Now in iWeb, we want to use the HTML snippet. Now, if you don't see all these, um, the media purposes for you, all you got to do is click right here in iWeb. Okay. Uh, we want to drag in the HTML embed snippet, and then we want to paste in the code that we copied earlier. Okay. And then we want to hit apply. Okay. Now you're not going to see any changes in this at all. Okay. Um, but what you want to do is take this, move it, you know, wherever you want to put it. Um, right there is fine for me. And we want to go to File and Publish Site Changes. Okay. We'll hit Continue. Um, my web will do its do its thing, publishing it. Now, when we go back to, just hit OK. If we go back to the website, we refresh it. You notice nothing changes at all. Okay. Remember, there's two folders that you saved when you save the file and hide, which is resources and HTML. Okay, we've done what we needed to with HTML. Now we need to upload this folder into GoDaddy. Okay, and in order to do this, you want to highlight both files together, right click, and you want to create a compressed file of these two. Okay, so compress two items. So click that. And now we have an archive file. Okay, so this is the file that you that, you, that you're going to want to upload on, on the server. Okay, so when we go back to the server. You notice here we have our front page, which is the name of the iWeb document that we created for our front page for the graphic. Okay, so in this folder, you want to go here and click on upload. Okay, you want to choose the file that you want to upload. <clears throat> The one that we, we chose was, oops, sorry about that, HTML files here, archive, okay? So we hit choose, all right? Um, now it's going to ask you if you want to upload it, so we'll hit OK. It's going to upload. It may take a second depending on your internet connection. Um, the one I have right now is decent, so it shouldn't take too long. <clears throat> all right, now that it's uploaded, we have to unarchive it. Okay, because right now the, the files that are within this archive zip file aren't readable. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to click on it, hit unarchive. All right, so we click on archive. It's going to ask you where you want the, the folder to be unarchived on. Default is going to be the page that you're currently on, which is fine. This is where we want it because whenever you unarch unarchive the file, you want it in the same page over here that you want your graphic to be on. Okay. For me, I want on my front page, so I want to make sure that it's going to unarchive on this page. Okay? I'm going to click on OK. It's going to unarchive it, and now your folders are unarchived. We can go back to our site to see if it worked. Okay? So now here's our site. Once we refresh it, our animation should show up. And there it is, guys. All right. So now we're finished with iWeb, okay, so we can close this out, we don't need it anymore. And that is how you create your animation and upload it to iWeb using FTP. Thanks guys.